Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. This is going to be a very quick, very short video. Um, so apparently, The Rock has come out and claimed that he is not in shape and does not feel like that he'll be able to get in shape by the deadline for the WrestleMania match. That's reportedly happening against Roman Reigns. It's a rumor that The Rock's campus said. I'm going to call this blatant BS. It's what it is. Um, the Rock not being in shape is stupid. Like, The Rock's in shape. Here's where the question could rain from. The Rock may not be in ring shape. There is a difference in being in shape and being in ring shape. Because in ring shape, you have to have good cardio. Uh, and you have to be able to go for a certain amount of time and... A Rock Roman match is not going to be a quick one. It's probably going to go a good 30 minutes. If The Rock feels like he can't go 30 minutes, that's where that conversation could take place. But I'm still going to call BS on it because here's here, at the end of the day, here's the deal. The Rock, I believe, has he's obviously extremely strong. He stays in good shape. I think he's got the cardio. I think his camp is downplaying it, and I think WWE's kind of a part of it, but WWE has also been posting stuff with thumbnails of The Rock. If he wasn't coming back at the Royal Rumble or at WrestleMania, why would they be posting thumbnails at all? Um, like, like today. They posted like a, a top 10 moments at the end of the Royal Rumble. The thumbnail was The Rock. They could have used any other superstar. They could have used a Seth Rollins, a Brock Lesnar, or Roman Reigns. Uh, they didn't have to use The Rock, and they did. Tells me The Rock's coming back. I think WWE knows The Rock's coming back. They know that the fans want him to come back, and they know that he's coming back. So they're going to play this like, hey... We're going to make you guys think he's coming back. He is coming back. Uh, we're not going to confirm nor deny, of course, because they're not going to give that away to us. But we're going to make it seem like he's coming back. That's what I think. Um, if The Rock does come back and compete in the Royal Rumble, do I want him to win the Rumble? No. I want Cody Rhodes to win the Rumble or Seth Rollins. However... If that's the easiest way they can go about getting the Roman Rock match at Mania is to have the Rock win the Rumble, then okay. Right? You can then do something with Cody and Seth at Mania anyway. Probably use them in a match. Uh, to have the full year circle of Cody, Seth, and the rivalry and the culmination be at Mania despite the fact that both Cody and Seth have said that that's done you, you could do that. Similar to what they did with Becky and Bianca. They let the full year. SummerSlam 2021. SummerSlam 2022. They could do that with uh, Cody and Seth at Mania. And I'd have no issues with that. If The Rock is not... If this is the true story. The Rock really does not feel like he's going to be in ring shape. By the time Mania comes around. Okay. Okay. At that point, what do you do? Because you've been planning for Rock versus uh, Roman at Mania. So now what do you do? Here's what you do. Cody Rhodes wins the Royal Rumble. And then you have Seth Rollins leading up to the Royal Rumble. Attacking Cody. Attacking Roman. And we get a triple threat match. Roman versus Cody versus Seth for the WWE Championship. And then have Roman drop the WWE title. Keep the Universal title. That way, maybe the next year you can do the Rock-Roman match. And Roman would still be champion. And Monday Night Raw would now have a certified world champion on it. Because right now, Roman's working a part-time deal where he only shows up when he feels like it. And if he feels like it. And as a fan of the business, I'm honestly, I'm getting tired of this. I'm getting tired of the double titles. And Roman having both titles. I'm getting tired of it. Uh, I, 
love what Roman Reigns is doing. I love the body of work that he's done. I'm tired of it. We need to move past this. We need to at least get one title off of him. And since he started his reign as Universal Champion, I don't think you take the Universal title off of him. I think you take the WWE title off of him. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, love you. Bye. Peace.